Hi guys, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, today I'm going to do a nail polish video. I did a video yesterday and I told you guys that I was going to get my Christian Louboutin polishes. Sadly, they haven't arrived yet. Um, it's about 4.30 and my UPS guy usually comes around 7. So I think it's going to be too late to make that video tonight, especially with the sun going down and whatnot. But I did receive some other polishes. Um, as I mentioned, I'm into indies, and I got some indie polishes today that have been lost on, in limbo for a little bit, but I got them today, and I thought, why not go ahead and do a video on these, since I won't be able to post my other video. So the name of this brand is called Enchanted Polish, and it's a very popular indie brand. Very, very popular, and really hard to get a hold of. Um, and they released a new collection recently inspired by Kanye West um, I guess by like some of his songs I'm not a big fan of Kanye West so um, if you are then you probably will I suppose um, notice like the names have to do with his songs so I think um, and there was four polishes in this collection and I bought all four so I will go ahead and show you guys these polishes I hope you guys enjoy this video Alright, so this is what this these are what the polish boxes look like. Um, so this is the enchanted polish emblem. And I don't know if my camera can pick it up. Oh yeah, there you go a little bit. You saw that. The um label is actually holographic. She never had um holographic labels before, so they're semi kind of new, but it is really, really cool. And this is what the back looks like, and it has a list of all the ingredients in it. And, and this is also really cool because it's holographic as well. So um, the maker for this is called Chelsea. She just um, has her name as Chelsea Rose. And um, she used to live in California, but she moved to Colorado. So that's where we get these polishes from. And these are all 16.5 mLs. Um, the base price for the polishes is normally around $15 to $17, um, depending on what, I guess, the materials are that she uses for them. Sometimes she will release... Um, like charity polishes will which will most likely be a little bit more expensive like a buck or two more um, so yeah and you can find um, these polishes at enchantedpolish.com they're not always in stock um, I did make a video before talking about how the whole indie market works where they basically have set dates where they're gonna restock their website um, since indie polishes are all about um, being kind of like their own business at home they're not a mass producer they obviously can't fulfill everybody's orders to have constant stock so uh, with enchanted polish she will normally stock her polishes like maybe once a month she'll send you an email saying I'm gonna put them on sale Sunday at 12 p.m. blah 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 and basically you have to be there at that exact time and you'll be lucky if you get one polish it's really hard to even get one polish even, but you can, I mean, some people get most of them, but it's really difficult. It's not easy. It's not just like whatever. And if you don't go right at the moment, they'll sell out. Like they'll sell out within 10 minutes. So keep that in mind if you guys are interested, but not all indie brands are like that. Just the more really like upper ones up there, but Enchanted Polish is definitely one of those. So this first polish I'm going to show you guys is called The Good Life. And it looks like so. It's actually really pretty. I thought I wasn't. I actually wasn't going to buy this because I didn't know if I was going to like it, but it actually looks really pretty. So, The Good Life, I don't know if that's a Kanye West song. If you guys like Kanye West, as I said, it might be. So, it's kind of, it's got some hollow and a duochrome at the same time. I would kind, I would basically say it's kind of like a goldish copper polish. You guys can see that. But it is really, really pretty. So, that's what that looks like. Very nice. It's very, very nice. And all these polishes, I believe, were 16 bucks a piece. And then she actually charges like $1 shipping for polish, so that's not bad at all. Or for order. I think it's for polish, though. All right, so here is the second one, and this one is going to be called Flashing Lights, which I do know this Kanye West song. It was really popular. Ooh, and this is really pretty. Look at that. Ooh. This is the one that I was really, really looking forward to. This just looks to me like gold, beautiful holographicness. 
absolutely gorgeous. Can you guys see that? Ah, it is so pretty, and I think it's kind of fitting with that song, right? Flashing lights. So that that's beautiful. I'm really excited to wear this, especially for the holiday season. With some red polish or something, that'll be really nice. Alrighty, the next one is called Amazing, and this is another one that I wasn't really going to get, but um, I ended up getting it as well. Figured if I hate it, I can always sell it. And this is what this one looks like, and this is just kind of like a gold, kind of silver, chunky looking glitter. It's, it is really pretty though. Um, a lot of indie polishes have been coming out with stuff similar to this. That's why I was kind of like, eh, it's not really that um impressive like as like that new like something that is unique but it is definitely really really pretty that'll be really nice and i don't know if it's going to be textured it looks like it might be textured but i'm not sure so yeah so that is amazing and then last but not least is one that's going to be called dark fantasy from the swatches we had seen online it looked like it was going to be like a navy blue um, but it kind of looks like it might be a little purple from new swatches I've seen. So let's see. So that's Dark Fantasy. Ooh, this is really, really pretty. That's what this one looks like. Just you guys see that. Oh man, that is actually gorgeous, gorgeous. I really love that. Ooh, very excited. Look at that. Oh, look at that rainbow. It's actually just deliciousness. So. That is what that one looks like. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've, as I said, I've just been on this huge nail polish kick lately. I've just, uh, I've just been loving nail polish so much. Really makes me happy. Um, makeup still makes me happy, but it just, uh, like, the thing is, I think with makeup, I don't really have a lot of time during the day to put it on. And with nail polish, I kind of just do it when everybody goes to bed at night, like 12, 1 in the morning. And obviously, for makeup, I'm not going to be putting on at that time of night because who's going to be seeing me, right? So, yeah. Um, I did do my nail polish last night. I wanted to maybe show you guys if you guys are interested in that. Um, this is a brand called Glam Polish, and it is from Australia. And I did both nails completely different. I actually love the colors. Um, you guys can pick this up, but this is like a beautiful berry. And it's got gold flake. It's so, so, so pretty. And this is called Temptation. And this one, you, these polishes you can find at glampolish.com. And then this one is actually gorgeous too. And it's got some holographic and it's another like berry color. And this one is called Tiffany. So that is it guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like nail polish too. So you're not like, eh, why is she doing a nail polish um, video? But um, I think I'm going to start doing a lot of polish videos. Because if I don't, then you guys ain't going to see much on this channel anymore because I'm on such a nail polish kick. So that's it. If you guys have any question on indie polishes, on the enchanted polish, on glam polish, shoot me a comment below and I will definitely get back to you guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.